the world has recognized the need for something called DPI or digital public infrastructure enabled by di digital public goods like 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 digit and so on. So that I think that by the way was not so common as an idea, mm -hmm. but now has been accepted around the world. And we have seen that in the G20 uh, time frame where India has an excellent job of introducing DPI in every conversation. Mm -hmm. So the G20 uh, is more or less all on board on this idea of DPI. The Indo-US statement issued by Prime Minister Modi and President Biden talks about DPI. The Indo-French statement between Prime Minister Modi and President Macron also talks about uh, DPI. The Indo-EU statement has DPI. The, the Quad statement talks about DPI. The SEO statement talks about DPI. So fundamentally, I think now DPI has been made part of the global vocabulary. And this has been accepted by multilateral institutions, the I, IMF, World Bank, BIS, UN, and so on. So that's one big achievement, it's there. Second is the interest in the countries. You know, there are many, many countries are coming forward, realizing that unless they address this, then they can't really solve their fundamental issues. And now there's a project called 50 in 5, which is how do we deploy at least one DPI in 50 countries in five years. So that's getting a lot of global traction. Then we have other instruments, like EGOV is doing three or four areas. Uh, you know, Someone like XTEP is working on education, uh, there's a unit at uh, IIITB called CDPI, Center for DPI, mm -hmm. which is helping countries in uh, ca capacity building and implementation. Okay. There's another entity called CoDevelop, which is a philanthropic partnership, which is providing money, and so on. So basically, all the pieces are there here, as well as globally, the World Bank has always had an ID4D program. Mm -hmm. Now they're looking at other areas, uh, and so on. So I think there are many, many pieces all falling into place. Uh, and I think you're going to see a tremendous traction, uh, you know, for example, the work that uh, uh, Giga is doing in health in Africa with, with the whole campaign management and so on. And we're learning that you have to build them as platforms, open source them, templatize them, replicate them. I think all these learnings are here.